All right, aim lab setup video. Let's get to it. First thing first, let's open up our settings. Over here, we're gonna start from the left and go to the right. On the left, we have game profile. We're gonna set that to Overwatch. Field of view 102. We don't use ADS, so we don't have to worry about it. Down here at the bottom, the two important settings we're gonna worry about are sensitivity options and distance. We're going to set sensitivity from simple to advanced, distance to centimeters. Click save. We're going to go to mouse at the very top. You're going to notice that you now have a 360 distance bar. When you move it, it also moves your sensitivity. You can use either one. It's just an easier way to translate your sensitivity to other games. We're going to scroll down here in mouse, mouse CPI. Make sure that's set to your mouse's DPI input source raw input at the very bottom up next we have crosshair crosshair is preference but if you'd like to use mine feel free to pause and take those settings next up is targets again preference but if you'd like my settings go ahead and take those under audio we're just going to turn off all music volume and then we're going to turn weapon volume and enemy weapon volume to zero as well. Hit sounds is preference, but you can steal that. Then at the very bottom, just off, off, and off. Underneath graphics, we're going to use full screen exclusive. Make sure your display resolution is native. Refresh rate to the maximum of your monitor. Max queued frames is set to performance. I'm not really sure how this works or what it does, but it's what Maddie OW runs, so I copied it. Underneath graphics settings, we can use fastest, and then everything below that set to off. Underneath visuals, preference to an extent. If you're playing a tracking scenario or target switching scenario, it's good to use tiles or bricks. This allows your eyes to have an easier time reading movement. Otherwise, you can use solid colors for static scenarios. If you'd like to copy my settings, there they are. Next up, underneath the game, we have countdown duration and skip click to begin. I recommend leaving skip click to begin at no. Uh, it's good to just have your crosshair on a target when you start the scenario and then just change your countdown duration to one or zero. And then if we scroll down, very important option here, weapon visibility to hide. And then the last two off and off. Underneath key binding, keyboard, we're gonna scroll all the way down till we see restart. And we're going to set any bind you want to restart. This allows us to restart the scenario instead of having to press escape every time and click restart. And that's it. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.